Letter from John Dunn Madam, here where be all, all signs invoked are, twer too much schism to be singular, and gainst a practice general to war. Ye turning to signs showed me humility to other signs than you directed be, that were to make me schism heresy. Nor will they be a convertite so called as not to tell it. If this be too bold, pardons are in this market shapely sold, where, because faith is in too low degree, I thought it some apostleship in me to spake things which be faith alone I see. That is, of you, who are a firmament of virtues, where no one is grown nor spent, there your materials, not your ornament. Others, whom we call virtues, are not so in their whole substance, but their virtues grow but in their humours, and at saisons show. For when through tastless flat humility in dough-backed men some armlessness we see, tis but his flame that's virtuous, and not he. So is the blood sometimes, whoever ran to danger unimportuned, he was then no better than a sanguine, virtuous man. So cloistral men, who in pretense of fair all contributions to this life forbear, a virtuous melancholy, and only there. Spiritual choleric critics, which in all religions find faults and forgive no fall, have through this zeal virtue but in their gall. We are thus put parcel guilt, to gold we are grown when virtue is our soul's complexion. Hawk knows his virtue's name or place, hath known. Virtue's but anguish, when tis several, be occasion whacked and circumstantial, true virtue's soul always, in all deeds, all. This virtue, thinking to give dignity to your soul, found there no infirmity, for your soul was as good virtue as she. She, therefore, Rauched upon that part of you which is scarce less than soul as she could do, and so hath mad your bounty virtue too. Hence comes it that your bounty wounds not hearts as others with profane and sensual darts, but has an influence virtuous thoughts imparts. But if such friends be the honour of your sight grow capable of this so great a light as to partake your virtues and their might, what must I think that influence must do where it feign sympathy and matter to virtue and beauty of the same stuff as you, which is your noble worthy sister? She, of whom if what in this my ecstasy and revelation of you both I see, I should write here, as in short galleries the master at the end large glasses ties, so to present the room twice to our eyes, so I should give this letter length, and say that which I side of you, there is no why from either, but be thither not to stray. May therefore this be enough to testify me through devotion, free from flattery. He that believes himself doth never lay. To the honourable lady, the lady Carrie.